Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the top 10 most wearable trends for spring 2019. So I did a little bit of research. I went out there and I tried to find some, there's so many different trends, a lot of the same trends as last year too. So there's a lot of things that you can rewear this year, but there's also a lot coming out with especially new color, um, not really new silhouettes or anything like that, but color is one of the main things for spring. So I really want to dive into what are the most sensible items to add to your wardrobe. Now I know not everyone has a ton of extra disposable income to spend on clothes, so I try to find some of the more lower to moderate price items within these categories that are trending. So I put together my list of the top 10 trends for spring that I think would be the best for just anyone to be able to work into their wardrobe. And also they are more items that you could see yourself using you know, next spring or they're kind of more, just not, you know, uh, a staple piece maybe per se for your wardrobe, but they're more than just like a super fashion piece that's just gonna come in and out and you're just gonna hang on to it for, you know, the, in the next eight or 10 years when it's like cool again. I am going to um, put in some photos here too of some of the styles as I'm going through them. And just so you can kind of get an idea of, you know, what they look like, what's out there. Um, so if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. So also, I just wanted to let you guys know that all the items that I show here will be linked in the description. So some of them I did find that they were on sale. So those sale prices might not be what you're seeing when you go back to check out the link. But hopefully the items are still there. I tried to find stuff that was more new um, and new arrivals is where I looked on the websites. Okay, so the first trend is actually khaki. And most of the time when I've seen this on the runways, uh, it's been khaki on khaki. Now most of us obviously aren't going to wear the khaki on khaki trend in like an everyday type of setting, whether you're at the office. Um, sometimes like, you know, more business casual people could do like a khaki blazer with khaki pants. Most of us aren't going to do that. I found some other options. This is actually um, a gap, um, ankle pants. This one retails for $69.95 and yes, that's a little bit of a higher price point, but to me, especially more of a basic pant, is just kind of like a necessity of any wardrobe. And khaki is one of the colors you can't go wrong with because it's great for spring and it's a great um, color to transition into fall with more warmer colors and then in spring you can uh, wear it with more cooler tones. The next item is also the uh, khaki short. So one of the big trends that I've been seeing a lot recently is the Bermuda short. Now me personally, I'm not a Bermuda short kind of girl. But it's great, especially like if you're out in amusement parks or if you're traveling or hiking, it's a great short to wear, especially like with all the performance fabrics that are out there right now. Me, I'm more of a three and a half inch uh, inseam 3.5. I'm not like, you know, a mom short kind of girl. I don't either, I, I don't let my butt cheeks hang out either, but you know, I still like this length. I think this is a really good length for most people, you know, in their maybe 30s plus. And they come in a plethora of colors this year. So this one is actually from Old Navy for $22.99. Now this one is a little bit more of the, I guess, trendy side if you kind of want to be a little bit more daring with your wardrobe. So this is actually a poplin dress. So this is a um, tie waist shirt dress from J. Crew. So this one I actually found on sale for $49. I thought it was actually kind of like a cool different look. Obviously this girl, she styled it with, um, it kind of looks like just like a brimmed hat. I can't tell if it's straw or not. But you can just see it's like super easy to wear. You just kind of roll or um, kind of cinch up the sleeves a little and you're ready to go. It's super easy. You could just put a pair of like colored flats with it and you're ready to hit the town. So the second trend that I, we are going to see everywhere that I've been seeing everywhere too is the golden slash marigold trend. So this one is 
I I feel like this is like one of those colors that really speak to me because when I feel like I wear like yellow tones I always just feel happy and bright and cheerful so so yellow is that for me so I actually found this dress from Old Navy so this is the um, waist to find sleeveless dress so this one was um, $29.99 I actually really like Old Navy dresses one they're affordable two they wash and wear really well and they're always like very like seasonless you can always um move these from season to season so me i would wear this in spring with maybe some cute straw espadrilles and then maybe for fall i transition it and wear some light brown booties with it so there's always like that kind of transitional piece for old navy which i really like the next item is actually from express so this is the high-waisted um sash tie skirt so I'm not really a high-waisted kind of person. Um, I just really liked this skirt when I um, saw it because it's just a little bit different. I think, um, I'm not sure if you can tell in the photo, but it does have like a pocket on the front um, near the bottom hem. I just thought it was something different. Obviously, like this is more of that kind of trendy piece, a little bit more of an investment for you. But I, for $49.90, I thought it was stinking adorable. So this one is definitely more my speed. So this is a um, scalloped cami tank from Socialite. This is actually um, sold in Nordstrom Rack. So this is where I found this one. And it was $19.97, which is I think a really good price. I actually have felt this fabric before um, from this brand. And I think it's really great fabric. It's definitely like um, kind of cascades over the body. It's not like form fitting or anything. If I remember correctly, these had a little bit of stretch to them. So this is just like a really great basic to have. So you could wear this, you know, with your denim, you could wear a cardigan over it. You could, you could do a lot of things. You could wear a blazer over it. It's just like one of those really great pieces. And then maybe on the weekends when you're going out with your girlfriends, you could put a really cute um, long necklace with it, with some heels. Girl, you are done for $19.97. So the third trend is actually the surfer trend. So this is like kind of like um, the way I go to the beach per se. So this one is actually a graphic tee from Target. So perfect waves and sunny days. That's all we can ask for, right? So this one was $14.99. I think Target is one of the best places to get the cute, trendy graphic tees for right now. They are obviously just affordable. They wash and wear really well. I do have to say, like, if you're like me and you're a little bit more of a hippie person, hippie as in not like, you know, 60s hippie, but like, you know, you carry a little bit more in your hips, don't get the ones with the side slits on it because the side slits come up way too high and it's just the fit it on them is absolutely terrible just speaking from experience the second item is obviously denim cutoffs like who like who thinks surfer without thinking denim cutoffs so these ones are actually from levi's i think i found these on nordstrom.com the link will lead you to it wherever it is um, so these were on sale for $29. Obviously they're stinking cute and they come in a different like different washes and um, which I think like when you think surfer you think like you know a basic um, tank top and then also maybe like um, a plaid tied around your waist. You know that's what I think of when I think surfer you know. And then also I fell in love with these Roxy um, linen um, drawstring bottoms. I just thought they looked so stinking comfortable. I love the olive green color. I think that um, for $40, these are something that you could wear to so many different things. If you're going to the beach, if you're just hanging out by the water, or if you're just kind of going out for a casual day, I think these are so great. And they come in six different colors. So hello, options. The fourth trend is polka dots. Obviously, like this was one of the trends that we saw last year. I saw it around in just about every store I would say I saw polka dots in. So this one is actually from Banana Republic. This one was on sale for $79.99. I just really liked the kind of like bloused um, look, um, the cuff around the wrist. I thought that it looked very like polished and clean. I love the navy with the white dot. Kind of gives you that spring nautical feel, which is always, nautical is always in for spring. Like let's just be real, like nautical is always in. 
The second item, I actually found this one on Amazon. I just thought this one was stinking cute. I loved the way it kind of draped over the model's body and I love that the dot was a little bit more spaced out than some like the um, Banana Republic one for example and obviously there's like a price range so like the different um, sizes like vary in price. I just thought this one was stinking cute and I think it was um, poly with spans so it's stretched a little bit too which is always good. The last item is actually this super cute um, wrap skirt from ASOS. This is from the brand Pretty Little Thing. I just, I think ASOS is a really great place to find trendy, affordable pieces. And they actually do have a wide range of sizes. I believe they went from, in some items, not everything, they went from a double extra small to an extra large. So there is definitely options for people of all sizes. So. I just thought this one was really cute. I loved her kind of like wrap. Um, they kind of look like, I don't know if they're flats or wedges, but I just thought this one with the white background was very fresh and very clean. All right, the fifth trend we have is the scarf print. Now this one was a little bit hard to kind of like find a good um, print that I liked. A lot of times what I would find is more of the bandana print versus the scarf print. So when you think scarf print, think like, you know, Versace or Gucci or something like that. Um, so I found a couple. So this one is actually from ASOS too. This is another skirt. I loved, loved, loved the wrapped mini of this. I loved, you also have the kind of like marigold color as your background color. And then the pops of color, just keep it simple on the top like um, this model did with just like a basic white can. And for $28, like you can't even like pass that up, you know? And then I found this dress actually on Nordstrom Rack. So this is from Max Studio. And this one was um, $39.97, which is honestly a really great price. So this is to me more of like um, your bandana print. But I've been seeing a lot of dresses that look like this and they are just honestly just very casual, very easy to wear. Um, one of the um, shoe trends you'll see this spring too is more of that kind of like flat sandal or espadrille flat. So that would look so cute with a dress like this and that pale blue. It, which is next it's actually a trending color the last item which I think is probably like when I think of like scarf print is probably what I would wear more um, as like my own personal style so I would actually wear this um, kimono I love this print it's kind of more of a border print um, but I just love the casual look of it obviously like this girl wore it with like destructed so I just love the casual look of it. It's so easy to style, so easy to wear. Um, and it's just like kind of more, gives you more of that like hippie, like um, casual vibes, you know? Okay, number six. This one I'm like so stinking excited about because I, it's one of my favorite colors. So the sixth trend that you're going to be seeing everywhere is the color pale blue. Now I'm kind of wearing a tank top here that is kind of more of the pale blue. So I actually found this shirt in Target. So this is a striped um, three quarter sleeve boat neck top. And honestly the price of this one was what made me buy it because it was only $12.99. The material is awesome. It washes and wears really, really well. I actually, I'm gonna put up a photo now. I actually styled it for my blog a couple weeks ago. So this is one of the photos I used for my blog. You can see the girl in the previous photo. She was wearing khaki bottoms. Hello, not a trend. So oh, this one is actually um, one of the other things that are trend is gonna be trending. I'm, I'm, and I, I, I mean, it's always kind of trending like every season but I saw a lot about cardigans coming out for um, springtime. So I chose this one. This is a pale blue um, brushed v-neck cardi from Old Navy for $34.99. I just honestly love the color. I think it's like fresh, like I said, and I just love how bright and cheerful it is. And it actually like, I feel like it looks really good with the khaki or even like a super light denim as well. And then the last one is these express pants. So this is the mid-rise barely boot columnist pant. These are $79.90. Again, a little bit more of an investment. 
um, but if you love this pant like this or this fit of this pant then you should buy it in every color like if you ask me if the shoe fits buy it in every color you know so the seventh trend is actually going to be the one shoulder look so this one I haven't seen too too much out there it definitely was all over the runways though so one of the ways I thought would be the best to kind of like incorporate this trend into your wardrobe is actually through your bathing suit. Like look at how stinging cute this one is. This one is um, just the top is on sale for 15 from Old Navy. And of course you're wearing that marigold color. So two trends in one. <laughs> can't stop I am like so amazing this one is a little bit more casual so this is from Express this is from the 111 um, so this is more of an off-the-shoulder kind of look um, you can kind of I guess you could kind of like interchange them uh, it was there really wasn't too much in the top way of like tops blouses tank tops or anything like that that I couldn't really find that um, I feel like could I could see myself wearing in my own wardrobe so I thought this one would be kind of cute where you can kind of you know maybe size up and just wear it off the shoulder as more of a casual look um, and you could wear it with flats you can wear it with booties obviously you could like wear it like to the gym like and then I also found this really pretty dress so this one is from ASOS as this one was $58 I actually thought this was really pretty and then actually this is incorporating what the number eight trend that we're coming up on um, the hot magenta color this is another one that combines two trends in one this is a little bit more of a fancy dress you're probably not going to wear it as much um, but I think for that kind of around $50 ish mark for a nice dress is kind of like where I would put that like investment level you know the number eight trend is hot magenta so this is one of the ones I'm super excited about. I actually um, found a dress on clearance in Target that I posted on my blog. I actually found this one for less than $9, people, $9. I just thought this was a really nice um, basic casual, business casual dress to wear to work. So some of the other styles I found out there, again, this one is from Express. They did the cami look in the hot magenta. So this one has more of like a lace detailing around the neck. Again, like I said, I think the cami is perfect, especially like if you're like me and you live in Florida with these like super stinking hot climates um, and humidity, like when you go out at nighttime, like less is more people. Like I just literally wanna put on a cami and some shorts, maybe some cute shoes and then go. I am not about like, putting on jeans I'm not about putting on a bodysuit with long sleeves hells to the no these ones are also from Target so these are the high-rise chino shorts um, I'm not a high-rise kind of girl I feel like um, if you hold a little bit more um, of your weight in your midsection high-rise is really really hard to wear and for me it's super uncomfortable I'm just not a high rise kind of girl. I love the mid rise. I love low rise. It's all good. Um, but I love the color of these. I feel I saw these actually styled in the store with the tank top I'm wearing because there's a little bit of that kind of like bright magenta in the um, tank top and it's looked so stinging cute together. I did try on the shorts just to give it the old college try. Not for me, but I do know they are stinking cute. And they come in a couple other colors, including khaki people. And then here's a uh, hot magenta dress I found. This is actually from the brand Bobo. This one is in, was in Nordstrom Rack for $29.97. I just thought this was like kind of like along the lines of that basic dress I showed you earlier. Like sometimes you just can't go wrong. And if you're just like me in the mornings and you're like so foggy and you just like, you're like, what am I going to wear? Like... I just don't even want to put on pants. I'm like, I'm just going to put on a dress. Like if you're, if you're like me in that way, then you definitely want to buy that dress. All right, we're down to the last two. So number nine is the lavender color. I have seen this just about everywhere. Target is embracing this color to the fullest. I have seen it in tops, shoes, and purses. Hello people, it's everywhere. This one I actually found in on Nordstrom.com. So this is from the brand Gibson. This is a crepe top. Um, I like these tops because honestly, they're kind of like what I call like mindless tops. 
So they're just basic. Honestly, you can wear them with dress pants, you can wear them with jeans, you can wear them with shorts. They're just kind of like a mindless look. Like you don't have to think too much into it. You don't have to go over and above and beyond styling an outfit because it's just like a cute basic top. Just put a cute necklace with it or, you know, um, maybe some cute bangles and you're on your way. You don't have to think about it too much. That one was a little bit more pricey at 59, but you can definitely find basic tops like that in TJ Maxx. This one is actually like a brand that I have never shopped before, so I can't speak to how it like works for me. But this is actually from Land's End. It's not really upscale, even though they charge an upscale-ish kind of, kind of price. But I really loved the um, material. So I'm a huge Ponte fan. I think Ponte is like probably one of the most comfortable fabrics. I love it in pants. I love it in dresses. I think it's a nice, thicker, durable material. Um, and I love that this one had the elbow sleeves too. Just makes it a little bit different. And again, like this dress um, in the lavender color would look great with kind of those um, sh espadrille kind of shoes um, or even those um, flat sandals that are going to be big this year too. And then the last one is actually another one from Levi's. So these are the 710 Super Skinnies. Um, these were actually I, I found on sale for $49.99. I believe on Nordstrom. This is a little bit more, the colored denim thing has um, not really made a resurgence, but it's still kind of out there. So this is a good way to kind of incorporate the color trend into your wardrobe for not a, you know, a hefty price. I would say don't go super heavy into the colored denim. I'm sure in a, probably given it another like six, seven years, it's going to be like back and like full swing. But it's a really nice way to have a comfortable pant and incorporate a trending color. Okay guys, we made it to the last trend. So this number 10 is tie-dye. So tie-dye is one of those things that just like, it never really goes out. It just kind of like, creeps back up after a little bit and then it kind of like goes back down but it creeps back up you see it everywhere especially like surf brands I found this dress on Nordstrom Rack so this is the boho me dress this is 1997 I actually thought for 1997 this was an amazing price for a very cute dress I see myself like wearing this you know out to the beach as a cover-up I could see myself you know going shopping with the girls or lunch with my mom and just wearing this like super cute casual throw on dress. So the next one is actually from Forever 21. Now if you are a gutsy person and you walk into a Forever 21 and you're like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna shop their clothes, all the power to you because I cannot walk in there and look through their clothes. So. This one is from Forever 21 for $12.90. You really can't pass up their prices though, even though you're probably only gonna get probably like one season out of it before it falls apart or it washes weird. It, you're not paying a lot, so what does it matter? And then the last one I actually thought was so stinging cute. So this is from Apartment 9 at Kohl's. This is a tie-dye strappy um, beach cover-up. So on the back, it actually has like a couple um, straps going across it. I just thought this was like the perfect way to incorporate tie-dye into your wardrobe is through a beach cover-up. So that's it for the top 10 most wearable trends for spring 2019. Uh, there's obviously a lot more things that are trending. You know, like you'll see, um, a lot of like fringe and feathers and that kind of stuff. I just didn't really feel like the average person is going to invest into products like that and wear them on a daily basis or weekly basis. I really wanted to try to present things to you that you could see yourself wearing in your own wardrobe that you can find out in stores that are at an affordable price as well. So if you have any questions about the products that I showed you or any questions about where to shop or you know when's the best time to shop, I have like a plethora of knowledge about like shopping and sales and stuff. I would love to interact with you guys and get your thoughts on it, um, what you see yourself wearing for this spring, what trends that you're going to embrace this season. I love to hear about it and I love to hear about your finds of what you saw out there in the stores too. Everyone, I really am excited about this spring season. I think there is some fun, fun, fun 
items out there to you know incorporate into your wardrobe and happy shopping guys i'll talk to you next time bye <laughs>